It's much safer. People feel much safer walking from the train to home. We first brought you the story of this dangerous dark path in the middle of East Harlem a few weeks ago. Commuters and residents were forced to walk through blacked out tunnels and dark alleyways. Neighborhood residents complained to the city, but nothing changed. We've reached out to uh, Metro North Commuter Railroad, and we've also reached out to the city DOT, and they seem to be tossing it back and forth, and we really don't know uh, who's responsible for taking care of these problems. We called the Department of Transportation and Metro North to find out which agency was responsible for the lighting. Turns out the lighting fixtures under the viaduct are the DOT's responsibility. It released this statement. While DOT's employees are out on the streets working all the time, we rely on citizens to let us know if they see a problem so we can fix it, be it a pothole, a faulty traffic signal, or a street light. Safety is our most important responsibility, and as soon as New York One brought this problem to our attention, we fixed it. Thank God that they put some lights in it, because it's more safe there for the people that's in the neighborhood. It's a lot safer for the community when the people is crossing the street. A lot of time you could you like it's dark and you'd be scared to walk under there, so you have to walk where the car's at and you could get hit. So I think it's good that the lights are there. We went back to East Harlem and found all along the viaduct, the paths that were dark for years now had proper lighting. Tunnels once avoided are now back in use. People want to be safe where they live at. I mean, it's shopping there, it's supermarkets this way, you know, people want to be safe. And the lights makes you feel safer. In East Harlem, John Schumo, New York One.